So today I wanted to shoot this quick video and it's really just a quick discussion really um, on my Facebook page, my Mooch's Ways Facebook page. Um, we had a little bit of uh, negativity from some people and I see this kind of thing a lot on other pages, on other Facebook pages, forums, stuff like that. And it's a real sore, sensitive subject for some people. Now I posted up saying that I was going to go out tonight. Uh, lamping with the dogs in one place and then going off to another farm a little bit later on and doing some long netting um, which by the way has been cancelled for tonight we're moving that to tomorrow night um, just conditions wise uh, it's going to be a darker night but anyway um, we commented I posted the put the post up said I'll get some footage and I was met by a couple of people who said the same old thing and it's let them breathe. You shouldn't be going out this time of year. So what I wanted to do was, I wanted to explain to um, the viewers why we carry on with rabbit control uh, throughout the spring and summer months. So we cover many thousands of acres between myself and my friend. Um, most of our farms, I say most of them, have a very good to high rabbit population so the farmers all of our landowners like us to be out all year round they want to see us they want to see us there they want to you know know that we're uh, making us making a presence there and you know keeping the rabbits down for them so really we don't have the option come the end of March or the end of February or whenever people put a season on we don't really have the option to stop um, you know, I mean, we could tell them no, but if you tell our landowners no, we want to let them breed, uh, <laughs> honestly, they would laugh us off the place and they would just get somebody else in who would do it. Um, so we continue to go all year round um, and we do a mixture in summer. We don't tend to ferret in summer because of the cover. It's got nothing, let me tell you now, it's got nothing to do with young rabbits. Um, if I stopped ferreting or lamping or long netting due to young rabbits, I would probably get out two or three times a year and then I'd quit. Um, I've been digging to young rabbits, bolting young rabbits, having pregnant does since we started in August right up until you know March, April. They just don't stop. And that's why they're such a pest because when they're in high numbers, they'll breed all year round. Um, you know, here in the southeast, we get quite mild winters anyway, so there's nothing to stop rabbits from breeding all year round. Now, I understand people's train of thought in you shouldn't be lamping, you shouldn't be using a dog in the summer, you know, the grounds like concrete, blah, 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 blah. I get it. So, what we do is we'll only run the dogs if we've had a decent few days of rainfall and it softens the ground up. You know, nobody wants to injure the dogs. But having said that, I've never ever 
actually injured a dog running them through spring and summer any more than I would in winter. Um, you know, every time you let the dog go, you are risking that dog, whether it's spring, summer, autumn, winter, whatever. Um, I've seen dogs slip um, on wet ground. One dog in particular slipped on wet ground and had a spinal injury and he never recovered from that. He had to be put down. So, um, Bryn actually wants to be in this video. Um, but yeah, so we tend not to stop. We tend to carry on, you know. And I understand that in some areas of the country, the rabbit population hasn't, you know, been the same since VHD, RHD. And so people want to give their permissions a break. That's fine. I've got no issue with that. I don't rag on people for doing that. It doesn't affect me. So on the same time, these people who are of this opinion that, you know, there's a close season, which there's not, um, they tend to take a high and mighty view on it and anyone who goes out past sort of March, April will be labelled a summer hunter or, you know, you should let them breed, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. Um, as I said, it's just not an option for us. So we like to keep our farmers happy which ultimately leads to more ground anyway. Um, you know, whether summer, winter, autumn, I pick up young rabbits all year round. You know, I'm not going to be sentimental about the fact I kill young rabbits, whether I dig them to the ferrets, whether the dog picks them up on the lamp, whether we catch them in the long nets. We don't let them go. We don't let them go because we're not there to do that. We're there to do a service to the farmer. Big rabbits, small rabbits, they all eat his crop or grass. And so that's another reason, you know, this, this time of year we've got uh, lambs and uh, ewes out on all the fields now. Um, you know, the crops, the crops are up. So, you know, I've seen the level of damage that rabbits do to um, wheat and stuff like that. Even grass is a crop, you know, if you think the farmer uses that to graze his um, ewes and his lambs on or hay or silage or whatever it's a crop you know the price of everything now with the price of diesel with the price of uh, fertilizer with the price of wheat per ton you know a farmer can't afford to lose any or very little of it so if there's a high rabbit population they're not going to want to have you know the rabbits on there they're not going to take that i oh, will let them breed until you know september october by september october it's too bloody late he's already harvested whatever crop he's got left so, you know, it's just, it, it's pointless. I don't get people's views on that. Um, so, yeah, like, for instance, one particular permission, the one we're long there, and he has, he had a field of wheat. It's uh, it's mixed grazing, and he's got one big arable field. And uh, he actually had to, um, he had to re-sow it anyway, because the rabbits just knackered the young wheat. They just, they pretty much ate it all. Um, <laughs> So, you know, when you think about that and you think about the cost to the farmer, you know, it, it goes beyond a sporting act. Um, it goes beyond the sporting, uh, the sporting thing for it. You know, I'm, you know, I enjoy it as a sport, but I'm also aware that I do this as a service to the landowner. Um, so yeah, really, that's that, that's where I'm at with that. And uh, I don't make any apologies for doing it. I don't feel embarrassed when people put comments like that. Um, I just want to let you know as my viewers, my take on it, why I do it. And uh, yeah, really, it's, it's just something I've always done. I've never stopped, you know. If I stopped for a few months, the farmers would just get somebody else in. And you know, I'm an advocate of traditional rabbiting so i'll do it with long necks with ferrets with the running dogs um and you know a lot of the time you know if, if we're not on there then they'll just get the rifle lads in which I, i'm not against don't get me wrong i'm not one of these diehard people who think oh the rifle lads ruin the lot you know but you know compared to us they do take humongous bags you know we'll go in and i'm not saying we're taking massive bags throughout the summer or even the winter you know we'll get 10s, 15s, 20s a time, you know, and we're happy with that, the farmers are happy with that, if we go there regularly and do that, you know, that really is chipping down his uh, rabbit numbers, um, but yeah, like I say, we're out tomorrow night, and uh, what 
I'll do is I'll try and get some footage. I'm running Bryn tomorrow night on the lamp, and uh, uh, my mate's running his uh, dog. Don't ask me what it is, I can't remember. I'll, if I film it tomorrow, I'll get him to <laughs> tell you what's in this dog. Um, but Bryn is a Saluki with the grey, and uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll run him on first place tomorrow with uh, my mate's dog Jake, see what we can do, see if we can pick up a few, and um, then get on to my other place and do a bit of long netting. So um, I hope you're enjoying the videos, and uh, if you stick with the channel, there'll be plenty more to come. If you've just picked this channel up, or this video up by chance, or any of my other videos, if you want to uh, like, share, and subscribe, that'll help us out and really help the channel to grow, which you want to do. Um, I really want to make this a good channel um, for traditional rabbiting, and really show the best practices and uh, working lurchers, ferrets in the best light you know as this day and age we're getting more and more restrictions um, you know just our, the sport in general is under threat so what we want to do is make this channel you know as I said best practice and show everyone that it really is a great way of rabbit control and um, you know we're not all the the bloodthirsty crazy idiots that the antis seem to believe we are so yeah, anyway guys, little rant over and uh, we're going to continue our walk now. So from us, it's uh, see you soon. Like, share and subscribe. Cheers guys.